What's up guys? Welcome to today's episode. I think you can already see I'm doing a review of all the tackle I have in my tackle box because the weather hasn't been so great. Let's start off with the soft plastics. So I got some Biowa Armored Craw. I haven't actually opened this package yet so I don't know what to think of these. Got some Lou's Beaver Tail Craw Baits. Haven't opened that one either. Haven't opened those. I have Bruiser Baits. Heard these are pretty good. It's a uh, watermelon candy. I haven't opened this. Alright, Biospawn. I've caught two fish on this. It's a great bait. I got this in the MTB. I caught two fish. It's a pretty cool bait. Here are all my Havocs. Havoc Juice Worm. I have this in two colors. I think this is like electric blue. This is black and blue flake. I like electric blue the best. I got Havoc, like a soft jerk bait. Haven't caught any fish on this, but I'm using this to trail one of my uh, chatter baits. Gary Yamato, Flippin' Hog. Haven't even opened this. But I've heard that uh, I like Gary Yamato baits. I really like his Cinco's. They're great. Let's see what I think of this when I use it. I don't even know what this is. It's like a kerplet. I picked it up at Bass Pro Shops. I've caught a couple bass on this. They're like a pound. They're similar to the Havocs. It's a good worm to have. Here are the Zooms. These are great if you're fishing for like small bass or something, these curly tails. Got like a margarita green color. This uh, is the bait I caught my recent, most recent bass on, a trick worm, like a green pumpkin. These are great, they come in a lot of uh, quantity here, 20 package, it's great. Here's another uh, it's a finesse black worm. It's great for night fishing, bed fishing. I use this for night fishing mostly in muddy water conditions. Rage tail is one of my favorite baits. Uh, I use this a lot. I've caught some fish in one of my videos with this. It's pretty cool. I haven't used the rage tail craw a lot. Uh, I, I put them on jigs and uh, chatter baits. But this is a good bait. I don't have that many of them left. They're all on my jigs and chatter baits. Net bait. This looks like a swim jig type thing. Haven't even opened it. Don't know what to expect. Yeah, it's like a swim, swim bait type deal. Pretty cool. And Mr. Twister for all you pickerel fanatics out there. Great for that. I only have three left. Should we fill on that? Alrighty, and next on the list are all my hard baits, crankbaits, jigs, swim jigs, stuff like that. Let's start over here. I've got a Booyah Midnight Spinner. This thing's pretty cool. I caught a three pound bass on this once. It's awesome. Chatterbait picked up uh, Booyah. I fished with this a couple times. Haven't had much luck, but I'm going to go back out, see if I can get some stuff. Right here and here are my Terminator spinner baits. These things are really expensive. They were 20 bucks a piece. I fished with this one the most. Caught a ton of bass. I like this one because you can fish it in muddy water, and this one's more of a sunny day, clear water type one. This bait actually I found while I was fishing. I think this looks like a booyah spinner bait. 
never fished with it before. Here's another spinner bait. This is a Strike King. It's a great bait. Sunny day. We're fishing sunny days. They caught some bass on this. They're all like two pounds, pretty good size. Over here are all my jigs. This I got in an MTB. I have a Rage Crawl tail on it. This is a football jig. It's like a brown color. I think I need to trim the skirt. This right here are two Strike King finesse jigs. I've used them a couple times. They're pretty cool. I've caught one uh, a one pound bass fishing in some weeds. They're really cool uh, because they have the weed guard and it prevents the weeds from getting up on the hook. This is like a spinning jig uh, head or something. I'm not a fish spin, I think it's called. I got it in a mystery tackle box. And it, uh, I think you're supposed to pair it with the bio spawn worms that I showed you. And you flip it through the mats and the blade spins. And then the worm that's off of it moves in the water and it looks pretty cool. I haven't fished with it that much. Yeah, see how it landed like that? That's how you fish it. Just geez. Off to my crankbaits. One, two, three are all KVD bull cranks in different colors. I found this one while I was fishing and I bought these two. I've had a lot of success with this one. I caught a muskie on that one and a lot of bass and I caught pickerel on this one. I haven't fished with this one too much. This is an Excalibur lipless crank, crawdad color. This is great for in the spring when the crawfish are out and they slam in the bass. It has lots of rattles, it's really good. Here are all, all my top water baits. Start at the top. Booyah Pad Crusher Frog, black. This is great. Another Booyah Poppin' Frog change it up. I have two Booyah small pad crushers. These are really cool to use. Has some great action on it. And a Rebel R Popper. This this is like a normal popper. Except it's not like a it's not like a hollow body frog. It's, it's a hard one. So it goes on top of the water. You could do like a a walk the dog pattern with it. Pretty cool. This right here is a Livingston, a Livingston lure. Um, this is a topwater. Livingston is really cool because it has like ingrated fish noises in it so you can attract the fish more. I've casted this a couple times. It's really cool. You do like a walk the dog pattern with it on top of the water. It's pretty sick. I got that in a mystery tackle box. Um, I also got this, the Whopper Plopper. I've used this, has some really cool action. It swims uh, really nice on the top of the water, makes a lot of noise, tracks the fish. This is a live target. This is one of the new baits that's out there. Uh, it's just like a hollow body frog, you know, same concept, same hooks and everything, except it's just in a bluegill pattern. Right here I just have two poppers, gold one's my favorite. Uh, I have not that many jerk baits. This one I got on a mystery tackle box. I actually caught a really nice uh, uh, bluegill with that one. It's pretty funny to watch it. And this one's just one of my old crank baits. I mean jerk baits. Yeah, that's all. All my uh, hard tackle for you guys.